Hi friends, in the last video we have seen like you know how to download the data from Excel sheet in and add into queue. Okay, here uh, let me close this uh, worksheet. So let me delete the link. And then you add one more action stage here. So let me assign a name for this one like a close workbook. And choose an MS Excel review and select like close workbook and I select a handle name here drag and drop handle name here and workbook name is here and then go to outputs so we need not give any you know we need to assign any outputs yes uh, click on ok and next <coughs> so let me drag and drop one more reaction stage and then go to select like a work queues and then choose get next data and the queue name is so uh teacher and then go to outputs so id is like an item id let us say q item id and then choose in a collection and then click on ok ok let me rename it get next item so click on ok and then uh, link all the stages so reset it and just let me go to like a controller so here you can see so all items are under pending okay next uh, ref just let me refresh it still it is showing like a pending the status is showing a like pending and just let me run this status let me run this process then you can see uh, like you know the result in controller now the workbook is open and again it's going to be closed So internally it's saying like some missing data. Let me open this one. Yeah, I forgot to give like double quotes. So reset it. Then click on run. Okay, right. Let me open this one. So here the current value is here, and then go to data item. Here you can see the first row right the first row is locked okay let me open controller reset it and let me open controller so refresh it so it's giving like an exception this case must be uh, processed manually okay right now you can see exception is automatically So let me run it once again. So there you can see the output is here. Then go back to controller. Just reset it. So now the first item is locked. Right? and let me use like one more stage here drag and drop the action stage and put like mark completed and choose the business object is like work use 
and assign a name select then the action is uh, mark completed so select any one text is item id then reset it so link all the stages here just run it ok let me go back to controller so reset it now you can see the status was changed from clock to so completed so as of now we have seen like you no know, four uh, status one is pending another one like an exception other one like you no know, uh, lock another one like completed okay we'll continue with the uh, work choose please stay with us thank you